Amen. God bless you today. Um, this is Reverend Rudy Henry or Missionary Rudy Henry from He Who Saves My Life Saves the Rose Ministry. I've got a message of grace and hope for you today. Amen. Jesus Christ loves you. Jesus Christ cares for you. And Jesus Christ wants to bless you. Um, he loves you today in spite of our sins, in spite of our shortcomings and our hang-ups and our insufficiencies. God loves us. I think that's such an amazing... God loves us in spite of ourselves. <laughs> he loves us in spite of ourselves. And I want you to know that God loves you in spite of yourself. God loves you. He's a loving God. He's a compassionate God. He's a long-suffering God. And Jesus Christ could, you know, the Bible says all things are possible to him that believe. Believe the Lord in his mercy for you. Hey, mercy chimes over judgment. And the Bible says, with sin abound, grace abound is much more. So there's four, well, Romans 5 and 20. So there's far more of God in Jesus, in the Holy Spirit, but of Jesus and his grace than whatever you're facing. Hey, God loves you today, so amen. Come to Jesus Christ. Um, receive him as, you know, as your Lord and Savior. There's hope because of Jesus Christ today. And thank God for it. You know, we see what's going on in the world, but God ain't done with us yet. Jesus Christ is soon to come, but he's tearing because um, he wants to save more people. He wants to bring more backsliders home. Um, he wants to show himself strong and you know, in this world and in, in, the, in the midst of what's going on and that he is the king of kings and the God of the universe. And he's going to do that. He's going to win. God is winning. Um, but the message is this, that Jesus loves you and there's mercy and there's hope for you today. My friend, don't be discouraged today. Um, call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and ask Jesus Christ you know, maybe if, if you need hope, if you need a healing, if you need deliverance, or if you need some kind of breakthrough in your life, God can give it to you. Not based on who we are, but on whose we are. The cross of Jesus Christ. Thank God for the blood of the Lamb. For um, Behold the Lamb of God. Boy, I felt the glory when I said that. And I already said I was out there walking my dog and boy the lord was ministering how we need god and his hope today um i said this before we can't earn it we don't deserve it we can't buy it we'll never be able to pay it back thank god jesus christ he already paid he said i'll make all things new again and then he said a better covenant been off based on better promises the old is done away now watch what he said he said it's a better covenant based on better promises uh, my God, look at the covenant that we have with Jesus Christ. Um, it's one not based on performance, but based on what he did. It's no longer, the law was based on, the law, there was some grace, but it was based on performance. But thank God, now Jesus Christ came. He said, a better promise, a better covenant. Now, what does that mean? It's no longer based on us, it's on him. So, um, we look to Jesus Christ and that sacrifice and the atoning work of Christ, and it's already there. Your healing, your deliverance, your joy, your peace, your salvation, your prosperity, your wealth, um, your protection. It's at in, in the name. It's at the. It's in Jesus Christ today. So Jesus Christ is that jubilee. It's what the word says. Amen. So thank God we just got to walk in it, and you know. It's a constant source of strength in my life and that we can believe in the good, you know, the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm not saying that, but he will forgive you, you know. He's a God of love and compassion and mercy and of and, and favor. You know, favor is something that we can earn and God wants to give you his unmerited love and favor and ask for God's favor, you know, something you can't, you can't ever pay back. If you can't pray for it, it's just the favor of God and how we need it, how we need to experience Jesus Christ and um, His mercy and His compassion in our life. Amen.
Let's believe the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ that God loves you today. Um, he cares for you today. Amen. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior today. If you haven't, just say, Lord Jesus, I need you in my life. Amen. Jesus loves you today. I want to just encourage you today and tell you how much God loves We all need to be encouraged today, you know. We all need to hear a word of encouragement, and I just want to encourage you because that's what Jesus, the Word comes to do, to encourage us in our lives today. Amen. Uh, receive encouragement in your life today. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. I love you, and God loves you as well. Um, there's no sin God won't forgive you for, and He is a loving and merciful God. And thank God He is. There's victory at the cross of Jesus Christ today. Amen. Call upon, whoa, call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ today. Believe the good news of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, believe in His mercy. Believe in His grace. Believe in His compassion and His forgiveness. It's already been paid for 2,000 years ago at the cross of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, stay in the Word and stay encouraged. You know, David encouraged himself in the Lord. <coughs> Encourage yourself in the love of God. Encourage yourself in the grace of God. Encourage yourself in the compassion of God. You know, and don't let, you know, don't be condemned. You know, I think that's what hinders a lot of people today. They're overcome with guilt and Am I forgiven? And does God love me? And you know, you know, am I? You know, it's all based on the self. And yeah, did I pray enough? <laughs> you know, let's look to Jesus Christ and His sacrifice today, Amen. And we can we can just walk in that goodness and mercy of the cross of Jesus Christ today. And I believe that's something the enemy wants to hinder, but. Stay in the Word. Find God's promises of His love and His mercy and His compassion. And it, I want to say this. God is faithful. He is a faithful God. Even if we're not faithful, He is faithful. He is the faithful God. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Thank God for Jesus Christ today. That God is a faithful God. So no matter what's happening, that God will be faithful. Even if we're not deserving Maybe you feel like I hadn't prayed enough or read a report. You know, I don't remember. I haven't read enough of the Bible or went enough to church. No, or went. And that may be true, but thank God for His grace and mercy today of the Lord Jesus Christ that looks beyond our faults. Amen. Jesus Christ is soon to come. He loves you today. That's what the Bible says. He'll say, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. So I want to leave a message of love and compassion today. And let you know Jesus cares for you and, and you can believe God and his love today. Amen. And go around encouraging other people. Let them know God loves them and pray for them and, and you know, try to speak life to them. And, you know, we all need the love of God in our life today, um, especially when we're going through, you know, you know, we're going through the valley. But though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no. So the Lord we're going through that valley, but we're going to come out of that valley. Maybe you're in a valley today. You will come out in Jesus' name. Jesus is the, he, he's with you in that valley, and he's walking with you, and um, you will, you're you going to come out on the other side of that valley. Amen. So I know that we go through valleys in our lives, and say, whoa, but Jesus Christ is with us, and he'll bring us out of that valley and give us the victory. Amen. Thank you, Jesus Christ, today. Um, the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Ask God to forgive you. He will. And ask God to prosper you. He will. He said, if you ask anything in my name, ask the Lord Jesus Christ today. He's a merciful God. He's a compassionate God. He's a kind God. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ today. Amen. Uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Thank God that God is such a loving God. And he's a God of a second chance and a third chance and a fourth chance. 
in the sixth chance. He's a you know he's a God. He's a he's a compassion. He's a long he's a long suffering God. And if you're out there backsliding, come back to Jesus Christ. God will forgive you, and He will accept you again. Amen. Missionary Rudy Henry, for He who saves the one life saves the world's ministries. Um, believe the Lord Jesus Christ today. And I just want to say this today. Um, speak God's, you know, get in the Word and, um, you know, declare the love of God and the mercy and grace and favor and compassion and forgiveness of Christ and believe God and His love for you today. Amen. Um, thank God we don't, we can't ever earn it. You know, thank God that God, like He says He causes the rain to come down on the just the Son and the just and the unjust. So thank God for the mercy and compassion of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, God knows where we'd be without it. So Jesus loves you today. Amen. Be encouraged. Um, don't be too hard on yourself. You got to go, you know, so we got to learn to forgive ourselves and to receive God's forgiveness and God's grace and mercy and compassion in our lives. And keep going forward for Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, he say yes to Jesus Christ today. It's missionary Rudy Henry here. Um, for he who says one's life says those ministries. You be encouraged. And thank God for the sanctifying, consecrating justification of the cross of Jesus Christ today. Everything else flows through that. The blessings of Abraham. God bless you today. <laughs>